I'd like to welcome everybody back to another edition today of Foreclosurepedia. We're here in White Pine, Tennessee. We're going to do what's called charging a house up. We're doing this job for the United States government. This is a HUD property. Uh, we'll pan around here. You can, it's a pretty good size house, about uh, 1,700 square feet, three dormers, somewhat of a ranch style. Some of the tools of the trade we use here. The old weed eater and mower. And so we got some of our cleaning supplies. And we just did a winterization. Feds like it done year round. You can see the implements here. I always like to keep a fire extinguisher around. We have a Generac XP8000E. It's about 8,000 running watts, 12,000 starting or cranking amps. What we've done is, you can see we have a cord runs all the way through and it's gonna come on in here into the laundry room. You can see that we simply back feed into the 220 by connections. Now, for a lot of your older homes, you might have the three prong or the three prong flat. We use these Cooper wiring devices. They're, I don't know, about 30 bucks each. And it's regular uh, 600 uh, cord here. We'll go over here to the fuse panel. We want to make sure everything is off except for the dryer which will be on. That's when you nor and that's uh, when you actually start it. We use this generator system to uh, make sure everything in the house is working. See once again we back fed into here. We can go ahead and crank this over. This is Crystal Mills. She's the owner of Foreclosurepedia and a little filming for her today. So take this is just an old three dollar Lowe's tester Sperry so I know that outlet works what we're gonna do is we're gonna go room by room once again document via photograph that every one of these lights works that every one of these plugs works on my initials the other thing I always like to do is you can see right here, we have an on cue data comm center. I've used my screw gun to take off the panel. I like to document all my wirings there. And uh, that's really all there is to it. I mean, this isn't rocket science. See, we're all fired up and functional here. It's not rocket science. Just want to make sure you're careful. Make sure. Uh, you don't have your hand on that cord, obviously. Run your cords proper. Yeah, you can see we're on in here. and See, we're on in here. And as you're noticing, I mean, I'm throwing the whole house here. And you can probably still hear that generator running. 
we're having no issues. The other thing we're going to do now, real quickly, is we're going to go ahead and test the HVAC. So I'm going to throw everything else off. I'll come here, I'll throw my HVAC. One scan all off. Two ways we document the HVAC. I like to take a piece of paper. Let's turn the H back on here. So we fired her up. Probably heard the generator suck in. So I'll take a picture right there. And then, we'll go over here. You can see how the air's just got that blowing up from the vent. Like to thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to get a more detailed version of this, precisely how we go plug by plug, but that's really it in a nutshell. We'd like to thank you all for tuning in again to another edition of Foreclosurepedia, and you have a nice day.